Water and Sanitation Minister Senzo Mkunu, as well as Twane Mayor Silius Brink, uh, have visited the Royval Wastewater Treatment Plant in Hammanskral this morning. The Special Investigating Unit last year, you might remember, had authorized to investigate allegations of maladministration and corruption surrounding the project. Brink says work to upgrade the treatment plant and ensure water is clean for Hammanskral residents has begun. A new project manager has also been appointed. So what progress has been made so far in achieving accountability? regarding the plant. Reporter Puleli Chwiti Jones joins us now uh, with an update from that particular visit. Uh, Pule, uh, you know, we know that so many stakeholders started to be involved in the uh, works of this plant. Even uh, the public protector at some point had to do a walkabout there. She says things are looking good and that Twan is going in the right direction. Is this the case? Definitely. We just received, um, of course, an update from the Minister of Water and Sanitation and the city of Twane Mayor here. So, Maseko, essentially what they're doing is that there are two projects currently being worked on here. There's the Royval Water Tre Waste Treatment Plant project that's currently being looked into. Then there's the Clip Drift Water a Treatment Plant that's also currently being looked into. So, the Royval Waste project is where there were allegations of corruption that took place, a multi-million rand, uh, a multi million uh, millions but will be mismanaged by the uh, previous contractors as well um, this is where uh, the water couldn't be purified and in this particular plant that has been vandalized over some time the minister says that that is where the DBSA who will be the implementing agent the contractor will be uh, looking into they will be facilitating and ensuring that they can refurbish that entire plant so the city has committed about 450 million rand over the next three years to uh, fix that plant in, a, in, in two phases.